I attract, I don't chase. My energy makes declarations on my behalf because I believe in myself. Confident like the rising sun, I embrace change like the flow of seasons. Determination unleashes the freedom in me to try again. My efforts make me worthy of success. I manifest that fear of failure won't cage me. Bones are my liberation so obstacles won't deter me. Hope is my conceit. Ideas are reflections of my enemy. No enemies as they become reality like joy coming in the morning. Keep your mind steadfast. An awareness of self is an unburdening, unveiling the subconscious. More love so beautiful, although sometimes it's ugly and imperfect. So move like water, endure as mountains thrive like the wind. Now is your moment to live. Open your eyes on this unapologetic journey. Push past inhibitions, quit making excuses. Reach for the very thing they said you couldn't. Show up when no one else does, cause time waits for no one. Understand and accept who you are in this world. Your vision of destiny is already written in God's word, so win. Denial as opportunities await. Your matter and your greatness is already great. It's time to zenith your zen. Adam Z. For even God calls her she. Woman, womb man. God's creation, carved and molded, pulled from man's rib? Or was she here first? Releasing her fruit of knowledge. That's why he told us not to bite the apple. We were just supposed to taste her. Expanding the heart and mind. Needing the passage way to Oriani to be just as conscious, pulsating with universal vibrations. See, God calls her wisdom. And like Solomon, that's all I ask for. No need for other stimulus for she. She is all I desire. Historically, every great king had she. She who was the most sought after. For millennia, men have pursued chasing riches, diamonds, and rubies for her beauty, but I. I just want her discernment. For she is like water, the wave of life, fluidity of substance to my substance, filling my lungs with air from your nourishment. See, God calls her she, woman, woman, life creator, birth of knowledge, wisdom. Laughter is freedom. Laughter is strength. Laughter is healing. Laughter is confidence. Laughter is the peace when life doesn't make sense. Laughter is the filling your soul with enjoyment. Laughter is vibrational. Laughter is powerful. Laughter is victorious. Laughter is the sliver of beauty even through the pain. Laughter is the good even on the bad days. Laughter is rolling with the punches. Laughter is being present. Laughter is breathing under pressure. Laughter is the, it sounds like she may be losing it. Laughter is the, but I'm still alive though. Laughter is gross. Laughter is going with the flow. Laughter is that I will never take advantage of this breath in my lungs. Laughter is that forgiving yourself even when you know that decision was dumb. Laughter is that letting go and breaking of strongholds. Laughter is the cutting edge to a new beginning. Laughter is releasing endorphins in the mental. Laughter is the only way to keep on living because laughter is essential. Open eyes of reality set in to astound me. Surrounding myself with what I know is truth and gazing lies in their eyes. Spherical comets engage the core of me, bouncing on tight rope centered energy, resurrecting the North Star in me, guiding me one step closer to the Ajali, you see. Similes of transparency, gazing over obstacles as flat land, understand. I soar over them with wings of eagles, soaring freely, gazing through haze with clarity. While my physical is grinding to maintain, my mental 
is relaxing in the bathtub of life. I'm sitting on the top of a well-blended mocha. I am the whipped cream of my life. I rise. My cerebral cortex exudes the mass of most, including and excluding all that began and end with infinity. Never ending, I rise. Riding in on a camel, lifting him with me. I am his third hump. I rise. I am a queen captured from her throne and thrown into slavery in another land, creating my very own motherland. I rise. Like the lotus, I rise from the muddy waters. And this one is for my son and my lovely daughters. And the newest addition to my family is my grandbaby. I look her in her eyes and I tell her granddaddy was born with plans to be the man, baby. In this land, I overstand as a clan that hates me. But I know there's more than love me. And even those that hate me, they just don't know they love me. It's all love. Some just misguide the energy. And that's when friends turn to frenemies and become CEOs of these companies of misery. I told my pops before we transition, the whole world gonna remember me. He said these positive imageries of me up in their memories and use poetry as my ministry to teach us how to go spiritually and mentally before they send for me. To miss my walk in life, now that's a sin to me. But right here, right now, where I stand is God's plan. So if you ask me, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. My poetry is more like poetry. So when you see that poetry over beats, well then you know it's me. I'm openly one with the elements. I'm young, rich, and intelligent. So you can keep your reparations and your settlements. Cause I'ma make it with my God's strength. I call that black excellence.